All right, Isaac Harris, let's get into this starting lineup. We, we've been talking about it. We, we had question. It was questionable when it came into the season. So far, it has not been that good. The Mavericks have gotten off to some bad starts the first two games. Uh, the offense, what doesn't work about it? And it, it goes back to that play you mentioned in, in the Raptors game where both Dwight and KP both rolled at the same time, right? And and when the Mavericks offense is working and the, the Jason Kidd's like, all right, we don't want KP to just stand in the corner. We want KP to be a focal point of the offense to actually, you know, be part of this. And then he's like, all right, I'm also going to put Dwight Powell in. And Dwight Powell, the only thing he can do on offense at this point is to pick and roll. So he has which to be he's a one of the best in the league at. Which he's, he's one of the best at. in the league at. He's great at. He he's 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 a lead at for sure. But that's kind of he's very limited on offense to just that, um, which is why he's had a you know such a long NBA career so far is that he can do that one thing very well. But that one thing. Contradict him being able to do that one thing contradicts what they want to do with KP. They're like, all right, we want to make you part of the offense, but also we're going to put this guy in Dwight Powell that has to do this one thing every single possession, it seems like, in, in screen and roll, and then it just leaves KP out of it. So then there's possessions where KP wants to get involved and tries to roll at the same time as Dwight when they do a double drag screen or something like that, and they get their wires crossed, and then all of a sudden it just creates the lack of space and all that. Uh, can they continue to have both things? Can they continue to have Dwight as a focal point? And, and actually just be part of the starting lineup and also make it Chris Porzingis a focal point of the offense. That's that's the thing about it. It's not just throwing two bigs out there and Dwight and KP. It It's what do they want to prioritize? Because you can make the start. Because I think some person could just look at me like, hey, this starting unit could never work. It's like, no, 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 no. It's not about it could never work because if they want to run this high screen with, with Dwight and then they want to put KP in the corner – or they want to put KP on the wing and keep the space, then it can work, right? Like that, that's what that's what made made it work. Like you look in the in the fourth quarter when they're running Maxi and Dwight out there, they're putting Maxi in the corner, they're putting Maxi in the wing. Then you have Tim on the other wing, you have Dorian in the other corner. It's yeah. like then it's open up all the stuff. But when you're committing to, and in a way, like I, I get it almost to an extent if you're like I'm not even want to put all the blame on kid for like wanting to try to get KB because if you're Jason kid and you're walking into this offense and you see your second star player, make a $30, $30 million, million dollar dollars. Player, yeah. yeah. And KP who is very frustrated at the end of last season, you know what you're probably going to do? Like you're going to want to try to get him more involved, get his like more, get the morale back up, get his confidence going. Yep. So it might take some games here. It might take, it's going to, it could look clunky, but this is the time to play around with it and see what works and what doesn't. It just whenever you are trying to get KP the ball, whether it's post ups, mid range, at the elbow, all that stuff, and Dwight's on the floor, it just gets really, really clunky because you still have, you know, the top five player in the league and Luka Doncic trying to run the show. So it's just what do you want to prioritize and how long are you willing to play around with it? And that's why the two bigs won't work. It's not just that those two guys can't work together at all, right? Because we've seen it kind of work before. And we also in the saw third quarter. In the third quarter of that Raptors game, we saw it actually work. But it, you have to you get one or the other. You get Dwight rolling and Dwight playing, or you get KP as a focal point of the offense. You can't. You yeah. really can't do both because you're not running KP Dwight pick and rolls, and then all of a sudden you just have Dwight like hanging out on the baseline, and you're like, okay, well, what you doing, man? <laughs> like, what, what are you doing hanging out there? Then KP's trying to face up and do his stuff. And then all of a sudden Dwight's man is coming over and KP's not a good enough passer off of the dribble to be able to, to hit Dwight on those. And so that's why it won't work. 